Hi my dearest friends, in this video I'm going to share with you what it's like living in North Sweden during June. Welcome to our little paradise in North Sweden. After six months of winter, we are finally able to have breakfast outdoor. Even though our summer started quite late this year, May was a little chilly but it was quite good though because we do have a few days of sunny days. It's beginning of June and today our plan is to go to another city called Piteå. I plan to bring you there with me so you have an idea how it's like. So buckle up and enjoy the view. And after a 45 minutes drive, we have finally arrived at the flea market. Usually this kind of flea market is organized on weekends and it starts from 11 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you are especially looking for something special, make sure you arrive there early. Hey! These curtains might suit one of our guest rooms at our B&B. Let's see if you two found something interesting. Normally, transactions are cashless. Whoa, look at the sun! One of the most popular items are vintage clothes. And I can't help noticing that people during the olden times, they like very colourful clothes. Unlike nowadays, people like to stick to black and very basic white or beige colors and what is your favorite colors i have small feet so it's really difficult to find shoes for me after two hours of flea shopping we end up in city to have lunch the one thing i really love about pto is that the parkings for the first two hours are often for free even choices of restaurant are more than in the city that I live in. For a buffet lunch like this, costs around 129 crowns per person. LG, he is a small eater, but when it comes to anything sweet, especially dessert, he can eat tons of it. After a satisfying lunch, we decided to head home. The minute I arrived home, I went to the backyard to pick some natals. End of May is the best time to pick them because they are so young and tender. One of my best friends, June, she got rheumatism and other health issue. So I thought, why not pick some and send it to Singapore for her? If you wonder what are the benefits of natals, I have a few videos that I made earlier on. Make sure you check it out too. Ever since I became a forager, we stopped buying tea because I knew I could pick a lot of health tea just around the nature. And even though it is quite a lot of work, but I find that every minute are well spent. In the evening, we decided to have some barbecue. And here 
is a tradition for LG to have a beer while barbecuing. Meat nowadays are getting very expensive. So nowadays we try to keep barbecue to the minimum. I stock meat when they are on special offers. Maybe it's not a stupid to convert a meat lover like LG to a vegetarian in the future. <laughs> no more big party. This is how a normal barbecue plate look like in Sweden. Do you think this is a healthy plate? And of course, you should exclude the alcohol. And someone is really happy and satisfied. After dinner, we usually turn on the music and listen to the music enjoying the sun go down. And here is one of my viewers' requests who requests for a sunset time lapse. I would say that evening is the most beautiful time of the day. If you have any special requests, do send me a comment. I'll try to fulfill your wish. Meantime, let's enjoy this view. Can you imagine it's still so bright in the middle of the night? Soon we are approaching midsummer. This means that the daylight will start to go shorter and shorter. But right now, let's enjoy this. I recently feel that everybody should retire at 55 or even better earlier as life is so unpredictable. Some who are unlucky may not even live up to the time where they retire. I've seen many people their health deteriorate when they stop working. Without good health, you cannot enjoy a good quality of life. Currently, I'm learning how to relax. Painting is one of the ways that help me relax. Today, I'm going to make a few pictures using all these leaves that I found in the garden. I thought they would be nice because all these plants are around the house. I want to make pictures so that I could hang them in the new cottage that I will be living this summer. Let me give you a quick tour on my new project. I mentioned in my post at YouTube earlier that we have a gig that hasn't been used for a few years. So for the past two weeks, I have been busy cleaning and styling this gig. Since LG gave me the free hand to do what I want with this gig, I decided to choose the old Swedish cottage style. I fell in love with this style many many years ago when I first moved to Sweden. I don't know whether is it I'm getting old or what. Nowadays I am in love with old stuff, especially those antique stuff. I find that old things speaks to me deeply. I don't know why. Every item in this house I've collected has its own history and stories. I've been busy digging some old things from the stores and try to put them together. Some of the furniture were bought at the flea market. Some of the old stuff are from the garage and originally from the house. I thought since they are so beautiful, why not I put them all in one house so that the next generation will learn about the history of the family. 
I hope the family appreciate that I put all the family treasure under one roof. Another thing that I find more relaxing is with my cats and watching the fire. And in the evening, I also love go fishing with LG in the middle of the night. I think it's not so much about what and how much fish we caught. It's about enjoying each other company in the nature. And that simply is the only time we get together because in the daytime we have our own chores to do. Usually LG works outside and around the house, mostly upkeeping or maintaining or repairing his machine. And for me, it's mostly indoor project like painting, decorating, cookings, and mostly hiding from mosquitoes. Usually mosquitoes are worse before midsummer and after 11 in the evening. Look what we've got tonight, a few fish for dinner. And when the night falls around midnight, it's also time to go back. Now the sun is setting soon. And lots of mosquitoes, can you see that? Today is quite fruitful. We got a few fish, not so bad. Huh? So. Now it's time for LG to go back and clean the fish. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> he can't say no. He has to. <laughs> The next day, I cook the fish and make ourselves a nice dinner. Last weekend, we follow our biker's friend to another city for a camping. During the summer, we have many bikers meeting. Now, we are located in Norsha, the inland of Shaleftio. And today we are exhibiting our bike in this summer event in this village. I made a live stream while I was here. If you miss it, go and check it out in the video description. I also went into this baking house to film some of the lady making this Swedish bread. Unfortunately, it was hot inside. Let me give you a quick tour how it looks like in a Swedish camping stuga. This is a four bedded cabin. As you can see, it's pretty basic. Most of these kind of cabins are made of wood. And usually you have to bring your own bed sheets, otherwise you can rent one. And over here, there is a small pantry with fridge and all the equipment for cooking and utensils you can use. It costs around 450 crowns per night. This is only cheaper because we came with our MC club members. Otherwise, the cost should be around 500 crowns. See all those tiny houses? Those are the individual cabin. And look, our cabin has a lake view. After a short nap, our friends who live nearby call us and ask us to join them on the floats. This is LG's friend, Harit, Eston and Anders, the son. I love this Swedish family. They are so warm and caring. They taught us how to fish a few years ago. And of course, never to be missed, Harriet's home-baked fika. And what a beautiful day, right? I love this place and the people. They always make me feel at home. After fika, they sent us back to our camping. 
and we booked four person at the restaurant so that we could have dinner together. And tonight we are having Swedish barbecue. The dinner was really delicious. After dinner, it's time for some music and live band. Last night was fun. I'm so glad that we came. Before we go for breakfast, we need to clean the house. If the cottage is not clean, you get a fine. And this is how it works as a self-catering cottage here in Sweden. Make sure everything is as it is when you check in. Remove garbage and sweep the floor. And when that is done, you are ready for breakfast. This camping has really good breakfast and you're sure to be full. I am so glad and happy that you stay right through the end. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on my next.